Okay, so one of the main thing is, um, despite everything that is going around you, you are represented here as, um, you know, sitting pretty and being very confident, okay? At the same time, you are looking towards a, um, you have a future-oriented frame of mind. So you're going to be moving forward with projects, with new ideas, with new relationships. And I do feel that, um, in general, you're going to be able to leave the past behind. It's no longer bother bothersome to you. And you're not going to give it a lot of your thoughts and you're not going to be preoccupied or weighed down by things from the past, okay? So moving forward, I do feel that it is a very good energy. So despite everything that is going on. And um, the way I'm reading this, it's kind of like um, a split here. These are things that are from the past, okay? So in the past, there might have been like a project or something that you are very keen on embarking on. It didn't pan out the way you want, okay? And I do feel it is um, greatly related to work. Maybe there was a work project that you're hoping for or, you know, like um, starting employment in a different company. And then for some reason that didn't fall through. But I do feel that coming from, um, coming as a result of this, I do feel that you're able to hone in on what it is that your, uh, your skill sets are more suitable for. And as a result, you're realizing that, you know, whatever this situation is in the past, they might have not paid you enough. Or, you know, if you had gone forward with it, the pay scale itself is not conducive or is not like uh, commensurate to your skill level. So you're able to like um, get a better perspective on this situation. And it sucks that it didn't work out, but it is preparing you for more, for better things, okay? And at the same time, a lot of you might be dealing with a situation. This could be, um, it's on top of the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups usually indicate to me like a, a, a troublesome kind of a relationship. It could be work relationships in which more than... Um, it could be like work, it could be partnerships, like um, romantic partnerships, it could be family situations as well. And what I'm feeling for this in general is that there are too many people involved to make this um, stable, to make it very exclusive, okay? So what I mean by that is if it is a work situation in which you're hoping to get a, a promotion, in which you're hoping to get like... Um, that other job, there were too many people involved in the decision-making process and it didn't go the way you anticipated. And at the same time, if it's a relationship, there was, um, you know, one or the, there were like flirtations outside of the relationship or there are other people meddling in your relationship. There are like hostilities or jealousy and people just meddling and uh, not letting the relationship stay between two parties, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you. And at the same time, if it is a family situation, and a lot of you might be dealing with, um, I guess, disappointments too from children. Um, children, like, not being completely truthful, or, you know, you're dealing with people who don't really want to communicate, you know, especially for those who have younger kids in their family. There might be, like, some troubles with children, is what I'm sensing as well. And... Um, the way that that plays out is that um, the parents, if you're like uh, dealing with children, the parents in the relationships, or if you're a child and you're dealing with this situation from a family, in a family situation, um, the parents involved are not seeing eye to eye on child re rearing practices, okay? So their value systems are very different. So it makes it hard for them to come together as a unit to properly raise the child, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but um, discipline and um, and like reinforcing values, the values and the discipline methods should be consistent. Okay, so consistency is very um, uh, vital for child rearing. So I hope that makes sense to a lot of you, and you know, try to like come to terms with what it is that you want to instill in the child, because. Um, <clears throat> It's a hard thing to do, you know, raising another human being. So don't be too hard on yourself, okay? I do feel that your heart is in the right place. And you're going to quickly realize, like, um, the best, for this month, especially the first two weeks, you're going to come up with a game plan as to how you can better approach those situations in your life. And uh, not in the spirit of reconciliation, but mainly, you know, letting that go so that you know how to move forward and you have like a better um, understanding and a better skill set and as well 
coping mechanisms in order to move forward in this situation, okay? So aside from that, um, what I, the way I'm reading this is, in the past, everything was like flowing very smoothly, okay? You've also had to work alongside like, um, I'm getting a, a very like authoritarian figure as well. Like you've had to work in that situation. If it's a work situation, even if it's romance, the person that you've dealt with seems like they're, um, they have a lot of control, but I don't feel that they're abusing their control. But coming in for this month, especially for, um, for women, especially um, like women uh, Leos, I feel that you are able to harness a lot of um, a, a sense of like um, coming into your own and your sense of power. So you're fe you're feeling very empowered to make decisions for yourself to like um, forge ahead with whatever it is that you uh, let fall on the wayside and forge ahead with new projects okay so you're coming into like um, a very masculine sense of um, empowerment and I don't mean that in a bad way what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is that um, you're leveling out the playing field, okay, for yourself, for other women in your midst who might have felt like kind of diminished in some way. So you are, you know, you are empowering yourself as well as other people to, to, to like basically level out the playing field for everybody involved in this situation, okay. So this is a very powerful energy actually. Underneath it, what you're not aware of is like if you're in a workplace and you know there are definitely um, situations where people are um, certain people are getting promoted over others, even though they're not very productive, even though there are um, you know there there are just like innate um, inequalities within the work environment, even within the home situation, in which one person is putting in all the work and not getting the proper reward. That information is definitely coming to light and you are you are very fair-minded so you're not going to be happy with this situation and I do feel that a lot of you will um, give it your all to try to fix this situation okay and to promote more egalitarian values within your work within your home within all sectors of your life because you you feel that it's important to be fair and it's important for people to get the recognition that they deserve based on the hard work that they put in okay in all aspects of your life I do feel that it's kind of like a I guess like um empowering others to to speak up as well because you are very vocal about it and the people around you might not um, have that sense of uh, inner strength in order to do the right thing okay so you are empowering other people to like take charge of their lives as well and to fight for like a cause a, a universal cause rather than being self-absorbed and fearing you know job security and things like that but like, like speaking up so that um, you can fix the situation for everybody involved and for you know the the waves the new people that might come in so that this per situation doesn't persist okay so it's a it's almost like a very humanitarian view of um, of life as well so I'm actually very glad that you're um, going through this because, you know, your opposite sign, like I mentioned earlier, is Aquarius. And Aquarius does deal with, like, more humanitarian values as well. And I feel that this is a month in which all of this will apply in your work environment. So I just want you to be careful um, that um, people are fighting for the, the right things, okay? And not just um, the people around you are doing it for the right reasons, not just to um, gain the, um, the the spotlight or gain the limelight, not just for the recognition, but that they are also truly believe in what it is that they're fighting for, okay? So a lot of it is like people are pretending they're going along with this because they want the spotlight or they want the recognition, but in the end they don't promote or they don't uh, execute, you know, plans in order to get this in place, okay? So just be careful with that. Um, for those of you who are dealing with an earth sign too, I do some feel some troublesome energy regarding like give and take, regarding compromises. Um, you might like go out of your way to accommodate this person and um, the other person is not like uh, reciprocating, okay? So in that situation, I feel that it's important for you 
to set clear limits as to how much you're willing to accept from the other person and what you really need from the other person in order to um, continue this relationship because I do feel give and take and uh, imbalances are definitely coming into the picture for this month especially the last two weeks so it's important for you to um, resolve this once and for all it seems like it might be an ongoing issue okay and then for uh, Leo men in general what I do feel is um, you are there are a lot of women in your midst okay for those of you who are in relationships like who are in stable stable relationships make sure I do feel that the the person you're in a relationship with if it's a fellow fire sign she is very level-headed okay and she's also very intuitive so if there there might be a situation in which you're no longer attracted to the other person in a feminine way because you feel like um overpowered by her so this is mainly leo men who are dating like another uh, fire sign especially like a fire sign woman I do feel that you are feeling a little bit threatened, okay? So um, just make sure you keep that in check because you want to be supportive of your partner, okay? And, you know, with relationships, you, we always try to um, to ride things out. When things get rough, both parties need to step up and try to, you know, work through the rough patches, okay? For women in general, uh, Leo women, I do feel that you are very empowered this month so your partner your mate might feel a little bit threatened um if you are dating um let me see the earth signs if you're dating like a capricorn a um taurus or a virgo what i do feel is that the other party um might be like a little more flirtatious so just um make sure that you know sort the situations out okay I don't feel that they they mean any harm but they feel like a little bit threatened there's a little bit of um, competition as well from other um, from other women who are not um, who are not lacking in the the confidence okay so um, I do feel this card here does indicate gossip and it, it does indicate like um, like a it's a feminine energy I'm feeling it's a feminine energy and there could be like uh, jealousies and just hostilities especially in love relationships but more so in like all types of relationships you know in a place where you might get a lot of recognition and then the other people are like jealous I know it sounds uh, like almost very petty but I just want you to be aware that um, this energy is don't let it bother you don't let it bother you. You are in a good place, okay? And you're, like, very empowered. I can't stress this enough, okay? So don't let the, the, the minor things, don't let the um, cattiness and hostility get in the way of the things that you really want in your life. And reserve your energy and your... Um, invest your emotions in things that are, you know, conducive, in things that are the bigger picture, rather than letting people weigh you down with their pettiness, okay? So don't let that get to you. For those who are single in general, I do feel that there are a lot of, um, the main thing is you're going to be well received, but I do feel that, um, in dating situations or if you're single and you know looking for people to date um the people around you they do feel a little bit threatened about approaching you so um make sure that you let your guard down you know try to approach people on a more emotional level i don't know if that makes sense um i don't have a single cup in this um spread so what i'm sensing here is that it is important to like um so, for example, I can only give an example of this, mainly because the cup energies are not um, present here. So, if you're meeting somebody for the first time, okay, um, ask, <clears throat> ask them, like, instead of asking, you know, like, what and when and how, or what and when and, you know, like, factual things, you can um, say, like, I heard this happen, how do you feel about this? You know, ask them, like, um, questions with a little more emotional depth, because um, that way it, it feels like you're including them into your life or you're, you know, you're trying to gauge how they feel on an emotional level. So that makes people more willing to open up. So I hope that makes sense. So you can say like, okay, um, 
I heard about the earthquake in Nepal, you know, how do you feel about that? Or something like that, you know? Um, so like shifting from like factual to the emotional, I think like that would be a better way to relate to people this month. And especially to let people to um, al allow people to let their guard down around you. I don't feel that you're going to be, you know, things are going to be problematic, but I feel that it's important to learn different ways to approach other people, okay? And um, at the same time, um, so we have two swords, two wands, okay? And these are both three energies, so I just want you to be aware of threes, okay? The three of pentacles is very stable. Three of cups and three of swords are not. So these indicate to me, you know, like... Um, pain, also betrayal, and also like uh, too many people involved in something that um, belongs to two people, okay? So too many people involved in general. So I just want you to be aware that um, I feel that a lot of you might have dealt with this situation in the past. There might be suspicions of this situation surfacing for this month. I just want you to know that um, you are very intuitive as well, okay? So um, I know that um, Leo women, especially Leo men as well, but Leo women take some time off and really like um, focus on the the qualities that that you if you're in a relationship focus on the qualities that um, your mate have your mates have that you really admire. Okay, keep that in mind and don't let this bickering the the small things get to you. Okay, but I do feel in general, because we have like uh, this woman involved as well, and this threesome energy, what I do feel is just, you know who your partner is, okay, and that's all that matters. You know, deep down, you have a deep understanding of your partner. So make sure that you don't let suspicions and you don't let other things, um, I guess, like make you question the um, the intentions and the character of the people that are around you, okay? So I just want you to be careful that um, there might be, like, situations from the past coloring your present uh, relationships, your present partnerships, your present work situations, and all of that. So don't let this energy affect anything else that is happening for you this month because the energy itself looks very positive. So make sure you focus on the those big picture, those big goals, and don't um, let your energy like uh, slide into areas that are not conducive for change, that are not conducive for your overall growth. Okay, and I hope this makes sense. 